ngaphezulu iqaphela kwakhona lendlu ukuba ibichaziwe into yokuba imoto kakosazana uhlongwa sekela mphathiswa ibimisile kufutshane nendlela ezama ukunceda nokuhlangula abo basengozini lendlu mayiqonde ngelixesha lengozi ngosazana uhlongwa ebebuya kwimibhiyozo yeminyaka engamashumi asichanxa nesihlanu Na kuisi kolo se politiko se kela lo lucha luka kongo lo se. Ibi banjo le ku university ya se li mpopo ngole slan. Lendu maikonde indo yekuba. Lendu wakazi upivi njengo kwa ubezizwa esazua ngolo shobo. Wonyi uluwa njengo msake la mpatiswa wezimbi iwa na manda. Gumonga meli utata usilu ramaposa kwe katanzibe kulo nyaka upezu. Lendu maikapele kwa kona, ukuba pamko ukuba onyulwe, usebenze njengo seke la sishalo, omkulu, kwi akente yyo puthi solo luntu. Ebe li lungu le komiti ya sikweba, ye sizwe, ye kela, lika kongo lusi, kulucha. Ikuku le kananjalo lendu, ukuba ufunde kwi college, i Howard, eku university ya kwa Zulu Natal, apo wapumele la kona, imfundo eno msila kwa zobu tupepeshe. Indu le maikapele indu ba oku kusoleka kukangko sazana. Ushongwa kutu sega kulu wonge umzi wa lila awatula. Kuba ubese lula esa zengo buso ezweni. Ene talente. Ebe siti longu mpatiswa woko nene okuteleyo. Lendu maikubege nukoki nukole la indu ba oku kusoleka ngesa kupe. Kukanko saza na shongwa kushia istuba esi kulu pagati kumbuto wake na makabane wake. Izi shobo neza lamane na bazali bake abakoyo apa umama umanzuza otate wabukunye na bandwa na bake. Mastumele olo velu anoke olunga zenzi siyo ngeliti yanga umpefumlo wake unga pumla ngotolo aze ati itagu vukwa yo avuge na ye kwa bafile yo ndiabule la. Thank you, Honourable. <coughs> Thank you, Honourable Chief. May I take this opportunity to call the Honourable the Minister of Minerals, Resources and Energy to the podium. I can name. Uh, thank you very much, Chairperson of the House, Chief Whip of the Majority Party, leaders of the various parties in the House, the Shongwa family, uh, Death is a strange thing because it brings about anxiety, sorrow, uh, emotional pain, but it can also be a source of celebration. And I think in the case of Baveli Lechongwa, we should celebrate life that has been lived to the fullest. Young as she was, she had uh, shown her ability to the world and therefore, it is nice to celebrate. One person said to me, she was very young. I worked with her. And I said, I asked this Christian, how old was Jesus Christ when he passed on? And they say she was 33 and say she was younger than Bavili. So Bavili at 38 had lived life to the fullest. Therefore, it is worth for us to celebrate her life. It was Friday, 13th of September, in the evening when Bavele met her untimely death. She stopped to help other people win an accident and a truck ran over her and two others in the same accident. Now, as a soldier, we must celebrate that she died in her boots. She left us too soon as a department, 
uh, were enjoying her vibrancy and her energy, full of energy, very vibrant. Uh, every time she opened her mouth, you couldn't doubt the content. And we loved her uprightness, which was unique and empowering. Her liking to speak in areas where she was knowledgeable. She would describe herself as the engineer in her, refusing to agree. Now, when she disagrees with you, Mam Kosazan, was a Kalema Devin. Kalema Devin, and then we will have to uh, tell her to, to, to cool off. Her keenness to be part of the solution to challenging facing government was quite exciting. I would imagine that my cabinet colleagues will remember the cabinet meeting of that week where she spoke, refused to be suppressed, and expressed her views nonstop. That is my very left for you. Uh, I can assure you that women, children, and people with disabilities have lost an ambassador. Uh, every discussion should factor in the cause of women, the cause of young people, the cause of people with disabilities. I hope we will discover more who will stand for that cause. You know, I always describe her as having madness like me. I'm a little bit mad sometimes. Uh, all, the time. Oh, all the time. Okay. Uh, let's say sometimes. It's going to be all the time. What I liked with that madness was that she would say things as she saw them, irrespective of the company she was in. Uh, if it is red, it is red. If it is black, it is black. Uh, she would not say it doesn't look white. And that madness was a unique gift. Uh, she hated mediocrity. Uh, that is widespread in, in, in public service and had a sense of agency in executing any task allocated to her. If you are mediocre, she wouldn't say you are not performing. She would say this mediocrity is not going to take us anywhere. Why are these entities that should be making money and declare dividends to the government are asking for bailouts? That is what he asks regularly because we're running a lot of entities in the department, she didn't understand why entities that should be declaring dividends to government were asking for bailouts. Uh, she, she had a sense of agency if she knew. You see, the way she, she had a sense of agency, it seems as if she knew that her life was going to be short. But her death should not have been this tragic. Uh, in cases of talking about death, I like referring to David. I know many people like referring to Job. I refer to David. Teach teaches to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. It's a very, very important fundamental expression. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Now, that is when you are a young person and you do your work as if you know that your days are numbered and you don't know how they are counted. So that agency is quite important. Now, Bavelile, you know, the days she passed on were finishing the delegations in the department. Uh, let me tell you that we had agreed with delegations what she was going to do. We agreed on one criterion that anything that requires somebody to run around 
will be given to the deputy minister. Uh, because she had energy and I told her that, listen, I'm old, I can't run around monitoring and evaluation you will do, community outreach you will do, social labor plans you will do, unclaimed earnings of miners you will do, rehabilitation of the derelict ownerless mines and enforcement. So that is what we agreed on. And I was delegated by her to do the broad departmental work, policies, and following through on the issues. And there was an agreement on this, she has passed on. Unfortunately, I don't have a deputy now, up to now. Uh, I may not give the same delegation to that new deputy. Uh, <laughs> depending on the energy that deputy will have, because if you are given a deputy with no energy, it doesn't help giving same delegation to that deputy and collapse the work. That is where we are. I think Abanba Washongwa, Mabazome, Gogba, Besnigel Umdana Wabu, Wasabenza, Wabu, SM Sabinzin, Benimbizuma Fungwash. Uma Fungwa Shege is your first born girl child. And the reason for that is Bavele was born on the same year as my first born girl child. So our relationship was a father and daughter. Only when she accepts that, when she was to engage, she refused to be a daughter. She called me a colleague, and I had to emphasize to her, listen, Bavele, and your colleague, Yabandwana. So, I saw I am Kerelondo. Next time, I were deployed together here by the ANC. We must share responsibilities. It is not your department. So, that is the kind of a person we're talking about. Uh, it's a pity uh, we don't get asked who, who to take and who to live here. And one time from that, I want to repeat this because. It's one thing that keeps on uh, shining in my face. One time from Tata wrote in the Facebook that Angapupa Januba Velil, Legu Bubu Quet, Mutala Kakat, Uba Velil, same thing. Now, now, I had to accept that it's an observation, it's not reality. I'm here, I'm still alive. I can tell all of you, those who remember the day we were located as these deputies, one member here asked me, Then I told her that the only person who can work with Bavili is me because I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm not going to try to suppress her. I'm giving to go via space to display her engineering capabilities. That's what we did. And I can tell you, in the three months we were together, I was convinced that our department was going to be one of the model departments in, in the sixth administration. Uh, but it is bad to regret this. We must accept that time has come for her uh, to, to pass on because verily I say unto you there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So all of us it's just a matter of time we are going to walk on the same journey. Uh, it was a privilege that was given to us by God. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Honorable members, may I take this opportunity to 
recognize the song of family, the mother, O oh Mama Manzusa, <clears throat> the brother, three sisters, and the helpers. I also would like this opportunity to, on behalf of the presiding officers, pass our heartfelt condolences to the family. Thank you very much. I now call Mr. Milam to the podium. House Chairperson, Honorable Members, colleagues, and friends and family of Bavali Lashlongwa. When we learned of the devastating news that the Deputy Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy had passed away tragically, it came as an utter sense of disbelief. Just two days before, the Portfolio Committee of Mineral Resources and Energy had a very constructive engagement with the late Deputy Minister in the room just above us, E249. We had been discussing the problems at the Central Energy Fund, Petro SA, and the Str Strategic Fuel Fund. These were entities in which the Deputy Minister had taken a particular interest, as her qualifications and experience as a chemical engineer working in the petroleum sector had given her unique insight into the challenges the sector faced. Our interactions were robust, and we didn't always agree. But Bavalila Hlongwa was someone who could disarm you with a friendly smile or a kind word. And even when we disagreed, we did so in a collegial manner. Just after the meeting I referred to, she came up to me and we chatted briefly before parting on very amicable terms. She had come to give me her word that the Department of Energy would investigate the concerns I had raised and that they would be open and transparent in their dealings with me and the other members of the Portfolio Committee. In the short time she was with us in Parliament, from just May this year, it was clear that Bavalila Hlongwa was a rising star in both her political party, the African National Congress, and more broadly in South African politics. Not only did she bring much needed technical knowledge to the portfolio, but she brought an energy and a dynamism that was felt by all who interacted with her. We had been looking forward to many more fruitful and beneficial engagements with her. Her skill and knowledge were acknowledged and recognized by her peers, who elected her to represent them on the board of the South African Institute of Chemical Engineers in KwaZulu-Natal, an entity she later served as treasurer. She was also a vocal advocate of youth issues and had served as the president of the SRC at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and later as the deputy chairperson of the National Youth Development Agency. Bavalile Hlongwa was committed to her country and its people. Indeed, the very manner of her passing while helping others on the side of the road was indicative of her caring and compassionate nature. She was young, talented, dynamic, and had a bubbly personality. In short, she was the future that South Africa could be. Her bright future and demonstrated potential were cut tragically short, and she will be sorely missed, both in Parliament and without. The Democratic Alliance extends its heartfelt condolences to the family and loved ones of Deputy Minister Bavali Lethlongwa and to her political home, the African National Congress. May her soul rest in peace. Hambakashle Bavali Lethlongwa. Thank you very much, Honorable Member. Honorable Tambaguayo. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. Allow me to acknowledge the presence of the Hlongwa family who are present with us today. And allow me to pass a word of condolence to the family and friends of the late Ms. Bavelile Gloria Hlongwa on behalf of EFF. We as economic freedom fighters were saddened by the untimely passing away of Ms. Bavelile Gloria Hlongwa who was popularly known as Comrade Bibi. We are sharing in sadness as we remember her. We knew her for a short period of time, though her contributions in the Ministry of Minerals and Energy 
were immense and would have brought an impactful change to South Africa as a whole. Remembering what a wonderful and energetic person she was all the time, including the remarkable life she had and that which lied ahead of her. She cared for the community and all the people in South Africa, as it is evidenced by the way she met her untimely death. You touched so many lives for the good. Our Honorable DSG, Honorable Shengiwem Kalipi, and Honorable Dumisani Ntenjwa had an opportunity to attend the funeral. To the family, your daughter, your mother, your sister was a blessing to so many people and we are grateful that we had a chance to know her as a colleague and we will forever cherish that moment. We know we cannot take away the pain, but we are deeply sorry for the loss and wishing you moments of peace and comfort as you remember her. A letter from heaven by Comrade B.V. Right now, as I am in a better place, and though we seem apart, I am closer than ever I was to you. I am inside your heart. I am with you when you greet each other as a family while the sun shines bright. Just look inside your loving heart and you will find me right there. For every time you think of me, I am right there in your heart with you. Don't worry about me. I am with the Lord in heaven right now. I have asked the Lord to heal the heart. I hope it helps to know I will be waiting for you. Remember me with a smile. May your soul rest in revolutionary peace. Thank you. Sabongam Tonishwa Chambawayo. Honorable Majose. Honorable Chairperson, allow me to acknowledge the family of Klongwa and also the staff that she worked with in the Department of Mineral Resources. I stand before this house as a representative of the ILF to convey our deepest condolences and sympathies to the family and friends and comrades of BV. My relationship with BV transcends party lines. I didn't come to know her from the chambers in parliament. It also never mattered that she was in the ANC and I served in the IFP. We served together on the board of the NYDA. BV, or like I used to call her Shorty, was like the older sister I never had. She was my confidant, a good friend, a comrade. She always had my bag and I had hers. She was also my work sister when we both served in the board of the NYDA. In fact, I remember that BV was the first person to congratulate me on the appointment of the board in 2017 while we were busy with the uh, um, elections at Umut. I also recall a time when she was only seen in her jeans and Turkey's outfits. I would wonder, what is wrong with this lady? But uh, she even came to meetings dressed like an activist. And she would voice out and say, I'm Dwana. Hey, when we are born again, we are from Soweto. You always dress up and you know how to put on your lipstick. And I ended up showing her how to put on a lipstick and makeup. And in turn, she would show me the light when I needed it most and when I went through some difficulty. We also used to laugh about the smallest things and we used to cry about the same things. 
PV touched my spirit, and she did with many others who had the fortune of crossing paths with her. PV sacrificed so much of her life by serving others. Her kind-hearted nature and spirit of Ubuntu was beyond any other person I know. We once fought for two years over this matter, over a little boy who wanted uh, to be a primary caregiver for, little William. I was in Pumalanga on her call and then informing her about my experience with the kids I met and that I wanted to adopt one of them, which was William. She then told me on the phone that you, might, you will never take William from me. William is my child. She also taught me that in life, you will not change the world, but what you can do is change someone's life. A year, if you could adopt one young person and change that person's life. She gave so much love, she cared so much, and that is why we are still mourning, and our country is still in mourning because of such a tragic circumstance robbed with this earth of one of the most dynamic, passionate, kind, loving and humble servant of the people. The most ironic part of her passing is the fact that despite having lived a healthy life, she was gluten-free. She ate gluten-free food. Besides having lived a healthy lifestyle, and she was also an all-round healthy individual, her untimely death was not health-related. It is a lesson we should all be mindful of. PV, although the news of her passing came with such shock, she died the way she lived, always in the service of others. To all those who she has left behind, I know you miss her the same, the same way we just have to pick up the phone and tell her what's been happening. I miss her hearing her voice and hearing her laugh. I miss her home hugs with life seemed cold. I miss you, PV. I miss you, and our country misses you too. She shined like a diamond. She glorified God, Jesus Christ, as a true Christian. Uh, I would like to quote this for the family. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 10. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Strike down, but not destroyed. Always caring about in the body of dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in Thank our you. body. Thank may her soul much, rest in eternal member. peace. Honorable Melda, welcome. Honorable Chairperson, <clears throat> after the speech of our colleague from the IFP, we could almost close this debate. Our colleague from the IFP spoke from her heart. She knew the colleague, and I can agree with each and every word that she said. I want to congratulate her on an excellent contribution. Honorable <laughs> Chairperson, <clears throat> life is a journey, it's a race. And we, none of us know how long our race or our personal journey in life would be. In this instance of our colleague, her journey was in terms of how we as humans perceive it, it was a short race. Our colleague was not a member of this house for very long. And it's quite sad that her parents and her family is here today under these circumstances. They should have in the years to come have been in our gallery to celebrate her achievements and the things that she would have achieved in her career in Parliament. That did not happen. I would like to express our sincere condolences to her family. For us today, this is a debate. And after this debate, we will continue with our work. But they will return home. And for them, it will remain a reality for the rest of their lives. They have lost a dear family member. I want to express our condolences to the ANC who has lost a colleague. And it's always very difficult. This colleague of ours was at the beginning of a wonderful career. She was a young person, a young person who made great strides in Parliament in the short time that she was here, and she was destined to have a wonderful career in politics. What happened to her is something that could happen to any one of us, and it happens quite often. She, from the goodness of her heart, stopped to assist people at an accident. And then, under those circumstances, quite often, 
people are so focused in, in terms of helping that they don't understand or realize that other people don't know about this accident and they're driving at a huge speed, high speed into that situation. It's tragic, but it happened. I've started off by saying that life is a journey. It's, a, it's almost like a race. And then it's quite appropriate that on this obituary of our colleague, the last paragraph ends with a verse from the Bible, 2 Timothy 4, verse 7. And I quote, it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Our condolences. Thank you very much. Honorable Melda. Mayor Swartz. Honorable. Thank you, House Chair. On behalf of the African Christian Democratic Party, I would like to express our deepest condolences to the family, friends, of the late Deputy Minister, Honorable B.V. Gloria Schlongwa, and as well as to the families of the four others who died tragically in the same accident. Other members have very eloquently spoken about the Honorable Schlongwa's youthfulness, skills, and knowledge, and we support the sentiments that have been expressed. And we were deeply shocked when we heard the tragic news of her passing. And it is significant that she stopped to assist another at an accident scene when it truck crashed into a vehicle. She died helping others. And this accident also illustrates how vulnerable we as MPs, deputy ministers, ministers can be as we travel frequently on oversight and other trips. We must do more to ensure the safety of our members and indeed all citizens on the roads. We need to pray more and we need to take action to ensure safety. Minister Mantashi quoted Psalms, our days are numbered. Yes, life is indeed short. James chapter 4 teaches us that our lives are, quote, like morning fog. It's here a little while, then it is gone. Life is indeed fleeting, as we again see with this tragedy. There are no guarantees about tomorrow, let alone next year or in five or ten years. And if we ignore this lesson, we will not live our life properly in the light of eternity. We need to make our plans and live our lives according to God's commands and purposes and to make sure that we are in a right relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and have repented of our sins. Life is short and death is a certainty. Make sure that we emulate, emulate the Honorable B.V. Gloria to spread love, forgiveness, and reconciliation wherever we go. And in this house, our nation is desperate for this. I would also encourage members to support in this new parliament to support and to pray for one another. Are you aware there is a prayer group? The Honorable Kate Belankulu and Mahoshi Dekhala and the Deputy uh, ANC Chief Whip, there is a prayer group. Let us pray for one another. Let us stand together. Yes, we differ politically often, but it is time for us to hesitate for a moment and let this life mean something to us. We rejoice in the fact that she is with the Lord Jesus Christ. And to conclude, we in the ACDP, we pray our Heavenly Father will surround the Shlongwa family and friends and the ANC with his love and peace at this time. Let us remember, Malabongwe Igamalen Korsi. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Honorable Zungola. Jabulela Kakulu Slal. Namhlanje, we are celebrating the life of a servant, a servant of the people who served the country well. Utadewe, two honorable Baveli Lehlonga, served in many leadership positions where she was exposed to working with a number of people who characterized her as a lady of stature, poise, and elegance, and who, most importantly, possessed the values of Ubuntu. Honorable Shonga passed away whilst assisting victims of a car crash. It comes as no surprise that her last act was an act of bravery, kindness, and Ubuntu. The African Transformation Movement offers heartfelt condolences to Ife Meliake, as well as the comrades the ANC. We hope that all South Africans will embody the very principles that Honorable Shonga embodied in her life, and will live this world a better place than we, when we found it. We have such a responsibilities as the leaders of this nation. O Genesis 15 verses 15 
uthi ke wena uya kuya koyihlo unoxolo ungcwatywe uyingwevu enkulu xa umamele esi scripture it talks about umuntu that has served and wamgqiba umsebenzi wakhe sithi makala le ngoxolo namhlanje enkozi sabo ma tonesho the honorable the minister of public works and infrastructure Honourable Chairperson, on behalf of good to the family present here today, all the friends and the ANC, please accept our deep condolences with the passing of a colleague. I first met Bevi when we received our induction as ministers and deputy ministers. We were sitting next to each other. It struck me immediately her inquisitive mind and how she asked so many questions without being afraid. Almost on every topic she asked a question. So in the short term, I knew the Deputy Minister. I could see what a positive impact she had made on the de department and indeed on the whole of the executive. She was an example of a real good South African who gave everything to her people and to her country and especially the youth. In every debate, she asked about whatever topic, how is it going to benefit young people? And it, she also was a real champion for young people in our country, indeed, for all young South Africans. I saw in one of the tributes, President Cyril Ramaphosa described her as a promising and principled leader who was never shy about expressing her views. So it was very, very sad to hear the news of her passing. But to honor Honorable Bibi, it is now upon all of us, young and old, to try and lift our, live our lives the way she lived hers. We are here to serve others until we are no more. I'm a Gartley, my sister. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Uh, Thorne Shabavs, please. We are assembled here to pay tribute to a leader, a woman who dedicated her entire life to the people of South Africa. Deputy Minister, Ms. Bavelile Thorne, on behalf of the National Freedom Party, we extend our heartfelt condolences to the family of the Deputy Minister and the ANC. We are indeed saddened by the loss of such a young, dynamic black female leader with great achievements under her name. She will not be forgotten, and her resilience will indeed encourage many young women to enter into the political space. We believe that women create a healthier political climate and the losing of a dynamic and experienced young women like Bavali Lashonga will not go unnoticed. Unfortunately, we did not have a chance to engage in discussion for me to have a chance to hear her hopes and dreams for South Africa. But I do know that she was committed to creating a better life for all South Africans. It is reported that in her last hours, she assisted those who needed help. May we continue and aspire to embodying the heart of servant leadership. The importance of serving the people of South Africa with integrity and honest like Ms. Longwa did. Ms. Longwa made her family proud as well as her colleagues and may their and may they continue her legacy. And may we, as members of parliament, open this space for more young women to serve and lead this nation. We also extend our condolences to the family and friends of the four people who passed away. Ralpho Wado Emerson said, I quote, it is not land of life, but that of life, unquote. As the National Freedom Party, we acknowledge the hard work and dedication Ms. Longa rendered in the saving the country, and may her legacy continue to inspire the current and next generation of leaders. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. <laughs> Honorable Mshaisa.
thank you very much, Chairperson. As African Independent Congress, we convey our condolences to the family of the deceased former Deputy Minister. It was not easy to believe that he had died. We really appreciate the contribution that he has made to the government of this country. She was such a diligent and energetic member of the cabinet. She died at the time when we needed her the most. She was one of the possibly quality among the women of our country. Her death was a great loss to all of us, not only to her family and the ANC. The fact that she died on her trying to save life means a lot. She was always prepared to assist. However, she could not have avoided her day. Her name had been called and she had to respond positively. Of course, no one is meant to live forever. We all have our days to depart for the better world. Be therefore comforted, comforted and find closure to all of this. We are not alone. Hoping that we shall meet her the, day, the other day, as promised by the Almighty. We are all in the show to the grave, but apparently now she charmed the show because she was still very young, not expected to die. Those whom God loved die young. Of course, even the elder people do die, but young in the sense that she had a good heart, not in, not in terms of age. So he seeks as he Of course, if I can just quote, I'm against what Shakespeare says. I'm against that. I quote, the evil that men do lives after them and the good is often entered with their boats, unquote. So we are going to remember her. It's not that we are going to, to remember the bad that did, but the good. That is why I'm saying I'm against that what Shakespeare is saying, that now we should bury the good and remember the bad. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Honorable Matisha. Uh, thank you very much. The Deputy Chairperson and the family of the late uh, Honorable Vavelile and the ANC Air Party. We say that we are very sorry about what has happened. Honorable members, death is very cruel. That we all shall go one day, and whichever realm of existence we are from, and from whichever political milieu we are from, however different, we are one. She died at a very young age. I checked her past, saw what she studied, and past, of course, that she was an engineer and relevant to the department she was appointed in, that she was still studying, although she was in what others may enjoy as a comfortable position. She still was going on and actually prepared to help as very many people as it is possible on earth. Positions she occupied show the capacity she had. She, as she grew, had occupied very many positions. But she never said, because I've gone through these positions, because I have been a leader there and there, I am up there. She still went on and came here and said, I am available. She went out there and when she died, 
she was helping other people. She did not say that I am the deputy minister, I'm passing, uh, people are there, they are dead, trucks are coming, very terrible roads. She went on and said, I am assisting, and unfortunately, she died. So like Jesus Christ, she died helping. And these are things that we need not forget. And I hope that wherever we are seated, however different we may think we are, it is a fact that we are one. And here, as we sit, sent of course by the people of South Africa, and we are one, and we shall embrace one another and cry together and say, this daughter of the soil is gone, and she was our daughter, she was our sister, and together with her, we shall go one day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Member. Honorable Nyonza. Chairperson, as PAC, we convey our heartfelt condolences to the Tlongwa family and their organization, the ANC. Public administration is robbed, and the entire political arena is robbed. The prosperity of our young people would never be the same, for your departure has left a gap in their lives. The PAC had hoped that a young leader of your caliber would transform the inequalities within the department. We need more representation of African people and youthful leadership of your caliber would have helped in that regard. Farewell, daughter of the soil. Pass our revolutionary greetings to our fallen heroes. Tell them we shall carry forth the baton. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Member. Honorable Hendricks. Aoud Bilai Micheton Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Al Jama was really moved by the outpouring of grief and the celebration of Comrade BV, the Deputy Minister, life when it was represented at the funeral. We would like to thank the ANC and the government for their part so that we could participate in the befitting funeral and farewell. South Africa and the African continent has lost a martyr, like the minister says, a combatant serving beyond her duty. We must learn from her dedication in this inspired by the, the ideology that we should embrace. al Jama once again extends our deepest condolences to our family, friends, colleagues, and the South African community. Thank you to Mama in the gallery and the family for attending this session of parliament, which al Jama really appreciate. You gave South Africa its greatest daughter in the service of the country. Thank you very much, Honorable Member. <laughs> Honorable the Minister Foster. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Members. And a special greeting to the Songwa family. I think today is a, again another sad day that we remember but we must indeed celebrate her life. I just want to say a few things about her. I worked with her she, when she was in NYDA. She was reporting to me when I was in the presidency. Worked with her in the ANC. But I just want to give you a picture of the day she died. I was with her from that morning, and I left at about half past three, and I left them to continue in Limpopo. She was just 
very happy on that day, more than she usually is, very vibrant. When there was the choir singing, she would stand up and sing with the choir. She was just somehow extraordinarily happy. At lunchtime, she was the same. She was moving from this table, taking photos. It was like she was saying goodbye, but none of us were aware. And I remember one of my daughters said to her, BV, please send me the photos that you took with your camera. And she said, okay, I'll send them now, now, now. Because if I don't send them now, I'll never send them again. And we all laughed. We didn't think there was anything. She didn't know either what she meant, I think. So as just before I left, I said to her, are you staying or are you sleeping over? She said, no, I'll stay for the youth thing, but I'll, I'll, I'll go. And my daughter said, no, I'll sleep over. And Bo, uh, and other comrades were there. And it was just such a happy day. But again, it was not just a happy day. She was, in, she was busy with the students, talking to the students, and she was going to be in a youth league event later. So she really died as she lived. She was just the unforgettable Bavelile that we know. But I just want to say to the family, you know, you become what you get at home. She was respectful but firm. She was very disciplined, but as the minister said, uh, sometimes with a bit of madness, but not rude. She was just a very well brought up child. She was a beautiful human being. So I just want to say, Uba Velile, just look after all of us. But this debate also was very unifying. And I think she would love that because when she helped the people who were in an accident, she didn't even know who they were, which party they belonged to, but they were human beings to her and she had to help them. I thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Honorable members, that concludes the speaker's list on this matter. I take it that there are no objections to the motion being adopted. Will members please rise to observe a moment of silence in memory of B. Batlonga? So I'll do rest in peace. Thank you. Honorable members, the presiding officers associate themselves with this motion. The condolences of the house will be conveyed to the Shongwa family. Thank you very much. The second motion on the other paper the second motion on the order paper is also in the name of the Chief Whip of the Majority Party, the Honorable the Chief Whip. Thank you, Honorable House Chairperson. Honorable House Chairperson, I move that the House Notwithstanding Rule 108, subsection Rule 2, which provide that the time allocated to a member of each party for making, a, uh, for making a declaration of vote must be determined by the Rules Committee, taking into account the proportional strength of the parties. 
limits the time allocated to a member from each party for making a declaration of vote on any budgetary review and recommendation report to not more than two minutes for the remainder of this annual session. I so move. I now put the motion. Are there any objections? There are no objections. The motion agreed to. The last motion, honorable members, is on the other paper, is also in the name of the chief whip of the majority party. The honorable the chief whip. Thank you, honorable house chairperson. I move that the house notes in, that in the fifth parliament, the National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces established the South African cha chapter of the Global TB Caucus on the 4th of September 2018. Further notes that the South African chapter of the Global TB Caucus is intended amongst others to raise awareness and profile the TB epidemic and support eff efforts to accelerate the elimination of the disease by 2030 in line with the targets set by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and provide a platform to members of parliament and members of the provincial legislatures to champion the response to TB in, in the country and their, and their constituencies and drive political actions, action to end the disease. Acknowledge, acknowledges that, the, that membership of the South African TB caucus is on a non-partisan basis, open to any parliamentarian or legislator in, the South, in South Africa, and is undertaken on a completely voluntary basis, and resolves to establish the the concurrence of the National Council of Provinces, a joint committee in terms of the jo of joint rules 142 to be the coordinating body for the duration of the sixth parliament of the South African chapter of the Global TB Caucus. The joint committee to consist of 11 members of the National Assembly and nine members of the National Council of Provinces be co-chaired by the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Health and the National, in the National Assembly and the chairperson of the Select Committee on Health and Social Services in the National Council of Provinces included in the above composition exercise those powers in joint rule 32 that may assist in carrying out these tasks. I so move. Thank you, Honorable Chief Whip. I now put the motion. Are there any objections? No objections, the motion agreed to. Honorable members, we now move to motions without notice. Uh, on the point of order, Chair. I, I just yes, want, Honorable yeah, Member. I just want to check if it's parliamentary for old people. Yes, for old people to be abused like that president of MKVA who goes uh, around with a honor, register. I think, honorable Member. I think old people must be respected. There are young people who are in who can member. do that. Honorable member. Honorable, honorable house uh, chairperson. It was not. Honorable uh, house chairperson. Thank you. What, what's your point of order, honorable? This member. honorable member of the EFF is out of order. We don't have old members here. We have honorable members of this house. He is the whip. He should know the rules. We respect each other in this house. We don't call each other according to the age, according to our ages, I think. 
Thank you. Honorable Shanga. Uh, can you uh, give uh, Honorable uh, Shanga a chance to uh, recognize the Honorable Member? Okay. Honorable Chairperson, Honorable Members, I think my colleague is very insensitive. The Honorable Member, in fact, lost his limb fighting for our liberation. And I think very insensitive to, to actually be flippant about this. Thank you, Honorable Shanga. Honorable Mkalipi. Uh, Chairperson, can the Secretary of the Youth League can rise and protect the Honorable Member that side, please? He's still young. <sighs> Honorable Members, we are just from a motion that was very touching. Can our behavior or some of the behavior from us, some of us, be consumerate, consumerate to that? Please. We, 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 we might have our differences, but that, this is not the time. <clears throat> Honorable members, we are dealing with motions without notice. Does any member of the ANC wish to give a motion without notice? Yes, Chair. The ANC moves without notice that the House notes that the National Senior Certificate exams officially began across the country yesterday, and that the House understands that more than 600,000 full-time candidates are registered for the exams this year, and that the House recognizes that this assessment is the final school hurdle for learner and the culmination of many years of hard work and dedication by the learners, educators and administrators alike, and that the house calls for the parents to encourage learners during this time to study hard and stay focused, and that the house further calls on the Department of Education to leave no stone unturned in ensuring a credible national senior certificate examination, and that the house wishes the class of 2019 best of luck on this year national senior certificate. I thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any objections? No objections. Motion agreed to. The DA. Thank you so much, uh, Chairperson. I hereby move on behalf of the Democratic Alliance that this House notes that the Ligua local municipality has been experiencing water supply problems for a number of years. Further notes that the residents of Extension 2 in the municipality have been denied access to running water for the large parts of the day during the past eight years, acknowledges that many of the residents are forced to set their alarms for midnight as they are only able to collect water between midnight and four when the municipality switches water to the community on. Further acknowledges that the municipality's alleged inaction to secure a regular water supply to the residents constitutes a violation of their rights contained in Section 27 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, 1996. Calls on the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs to take swift action to fix the deteriorated water infrastructure to ensure a regular supply of water to the residents of Extension 2. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Are there any objections to that? No objections, motion agreed to. Uh, the EFF. Thank you, Chairperson. I rise on behalf of the EFF that the House notes that Mr. Ediozi Odi was found guilty of human trafficking charges in the Gauteng High Court. Further notes that he kept three young children between the ages of 13 and 14. And these girls were forced to work as sex slaves in a brothel in Springs, Ekurulen. Recognizes that human trafficking is common in our cities and the law enforcement agencies are failing to deal with the problem of human trafficking. Acknowledge that under, the underage girls are forced to work as sex workers and there are men that pay for this sex with these underage girls and it is them that must be arrested. 
that the House establish a committee to receive a report on all cases reported against gender-based violence and human trafficking. I so move. Uh, honorable members, the motion which has just been read has not been circulated. It has Chair not been circulated, it therefore would not be put on the platform. Chairperson, oh, okay, we would like to apologize for that. We are dealing with serious stuff here as the EFF, so next okay. time, but the message okay, is, no. is loud and clear. Thank you. Honorable House Chairperson. Honorable members. On a point of order, Honorable, honorable House Chairperson. Honorable members. Order, please. Honorable, honorable House Chairperson. Honorable members. Allow the agreement is that motions must be circulated to all political parties. And also, Honorable uh, House Chairperson, I want to speak to the DA's motion, the previous motion. We object it as the ANC. We object to that motion. Point of order. The yeah. Point of order. Point of order. Uh, Point honor, of order. Hon honorable member. Honorable members. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I take advice on that? Can I take? Point advice of on order. That? Uh, what's your point of order, honorable member? If the ANC was sleeping, that motion was passed, and we are with another motion. We cannot reverse it. Sorry for them for sleeping. Order, honorable members. Order, honorable members. I am sure we are agreed. I am sure the House will be agreed that what the Deputy Chief Whip of the ANC has just raised has caused consternation in the House. I therefore, I therefore, I, I, I therefore would not allow it. it it's too late. Uh, because, but I must also mention, but I must also mention that it is discretionary upon me to allow it. So please don't do that. We were in solidarity with the DA Honorable House Chairperson, so that is why it went past us. We okay. know they are Bruised. Thank you, honorable members. Thank you, honorable members. Uh, order, please. Order. Uh, am I with the ANC? Yes, Chair. Yes, the ANC. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. The ANC moves without notice that the House extends congratulations to the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali of Ethiopia on being awarded the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize. Note that Prime Minister Ahmed has been recognized for his efforts to achieve peace and international cooperation, and in particular, for his decisive initiative to resolve the border conflict with neighboring Eritrea. Further recalls that the peace achieved between these neighboring states is an important enabler of the African continental free trade area and of the many objectives of the African Union's Agenda 2063. Understands that Mr. Ahmed will be presented with an award in Norwegian, capital Oslo, on the December 10th. Believes that this recognition will encourage other leaders in Africa to work hard on the peace-building process 
in the continent and congratulate Mr. Prime Minister Ahmed on being awarded this prestigious award. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. If there are no objections, I put the motion. No objections, motion agreed to. Freedom Front. Oh, sorry, IFP. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. On behalf of the IFP, I hereby move without notice that this House notes that Sunday, 27th of October, marks the celebration of Diwali or Dipavali, also known as the Festival of Lights. Further notes that Diwali is celebrated to promote and cherish peace, harmony, and the universal triumph of light over darkness and good over evil. Acknowledges that it is a five-day-long auspicious occasion celebrated continuously with great zeal throughout the period. Wishes all Hindu families throughout South Africa and the world celebrating Diwali a happy one. And may the beauty of the occasion fill your homes with happiness. And lastly, encourages all South Africans in areas where it is permitted to ensure that they display fireworks in a responsible, safe and controlled fashion, taking into account other members of society, as well as domestic animals that may be affected by these displays. I so move. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. If there are no objections, I put the motion. Motion agreed to. Freedom Front Plus. Thank you very much. ANC. ANC. Go. Oh, I nearly said go in, go in front. Yes, honorable member. Thank you, Chair. The ANC moves to moves without notice that the House notes with great sadness the passing of passing on of Umhlobo Wenene FM veteran UTJ Zolaka Somajiza on Wednesday, the 16th of October, 2019, at Life Mercantile Hospital after a short illness. Also understands that the 67-year-old radio legend, affectionately known as Umagaz, spent most of three decades in the broadcast industry before retiring in 2015. Also acknowledges that she has contributed immensely towards the popularization of development of gospel music into one of the biggest music genres today, especially when it, it came to traditional gospel music. We believe also that South African radio listeners have lost a giant of the airwaves who contributed to national building through her radio programs. And we wish to extend its, the ANC wishes to extend its heartfelt condolences to the family, friends, staff, and listeners of Umshlebo Wenene FM. I thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Member. If there are no objections, I put the motion. Motion agreed to. Uh, ACDP. Uh, thank you, Chair. The ACDP moves without notice that this House notes with sadness the passing away of four people, two of them children, in the Dube village, Timbaletu, George, on Wednesday, the 16th of October, 2019, after all four were electrocuted as a result of illegal electrical connections. Further notes that a three-year-old girl had touched a wire running from a homemade electricity distribution box, which was put together in an illegal and unsafe way. Therefore, encourages the executive and all SOEs involved to develop and implement preventative mechanisms to ensure that our children and residents in informal settlements are kept safe and to hold accountable those who connect electricity illegally. I so move. Thank you, Honorable Member. Are there any objections? No objections. Motion agreed to. Uh, UDM? Is UDM in the house? ATM? <laughs> Thank you, Chair. 
I move without notice on behalf of the ATM that the House notes that 23-year-old Tobe Kankabinde started her own textile business whilst pursuing her studies at the University of the Western Cape. Further notes that she was picked to form part of the University of Western Cape incubation program. Further notes that this incubation program offers young entrepreneurs a chance to sell their merchandise at a store in Cape Town. Congratulates Ms. Kabinde on her work acknowledges that SMME participation is the most viable alternative to curbing unemployment. Further calls the Department of Small Business Development to be actively involved in the support of young entrepreneurs. I, Uyolwe Tuzano Dumo Zungula, Umongameluwe ATM, Impondomise, so move. Thank you, Honorable Member. If there are no objections, I put the motion. Motion, no objections. Motion agreed to. Uh, DA? I hereby move on behalf of the, of the Democratic Alliance that this House notes that the crime situation in Actimel in the city of Ikruleni has reached dire levels. Further notes that both businesses and residents are living in fear due to an alarming increase in the number and occurrences of murders, house and business breakings, and robberies and petty crimes. Acknowledges that every person living in South Africa has a right to safety as guaranteed by the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, 1996. Further acknowledges that the active police station's resources are severely strained as it has to serve more than 4,000 households, 566 municipal flats and industries, the community of Actonville, the hostel, and at least five informal settlements. Calls on the Department of Police to intervene to ensure that the Actimal Police Station is furnished with the necessary additional resources to deal with the dire crime situation. I so move. Any objection to the motion? No objection. Agreed to. EFF. Thank you, Chairperson. I rise on behalf of the EFF for the House to note the passing of Kanit Ndanga and Bastana Kaole from Ward 21 Rustenburg. The House should recognize that Kanye was shot by her police boyfriend and Bastana was stabbed to death by her boyfriend while she was carrying the baby, the one-year child, on her back. Acknowledge that South African men are killing women and it is war against women in South Africa. Further acknowledge that women are not safe even in their homes because of it of the people who claims to love them and yet they kill them. The house must send condolences to the Ntanga and Kaula's families and we keep them in our prayers. I so move. Thank you, honorable member. Are there no objections? I put the motion if there aren't. Objections, are, uh, no objections, motion agreed to. Uh, the ANC. Order, order, honorable members. Chair of the House, African National Congress moves without notice that the House, we welcome the, the hefty sentence given to the disgraced ra rapist Nicolas Nino on Thursday, 17 October 2019. We understand that Nino was found guilty of raping seven-year-old girl in the bathroom of a Dross restaurant in Pretoria last year. We remember that he was sentenced by the Houghton High Court to life imprisonment for rape and five years to drugs possession. We also remember that the court also ordered that Nino name be, or, be added to the sexual offenders registry. We believe the hefty sentence will be seen as a clear demonstration that the South African society has become intolerant of sexual abuse perpetrated against women and extended sincere sympathy to the victims and, and her family for the suffering and trauma they have ended. 
I thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, Honorable Member. If there are no objections, the motion is agreed to. Uh, good. Good. LFP. <coughs> Thank you, Chairperson. On behalf of the National Freedom Party, I move without notice for this House to note the increased selling of cigarettes to persons under the age of 18 by unmonitored foreign and local owned shops. Further notes that these shops must be monitored, especially before and after school hours. Further notes that the shops found selling cigarettes to persons under the age of 18 must be fined. The NFP calls on the House to seek effective mechanism to monitor both local and foreign shops selling cigarettes. I so move. Thank you. Honorable member, I'm sorry. Your motion was not circulated. Uh, we move to the ANC. Thank you, Chair. The African National Congress moved without notice that the House notes the said with sadness the death of seven people when a minibus taxi veered out of control and plunged hundreds of meters down a steep embankment in the Kwan Molosi area near Indana Dam in Hillcrest in Durban on Sunday, 20 October 2019. We further note that eight more people who had all sustained serious injuries were stabilized on the scene before being transported to various Durban hospitals for the further care they required. We recall that a minibus taxi carrying 14 people had lost control and rolled down a steep embankment coming to rest approximately one kilometer below. We also acknowledge and thank the paramedics and South African police service that were dispatched to assist in the in the garnish and uh, we also calls upon drivers especially those operating taxis to be cautious at all times and conveys condolences to the families of the deceased and wishes those injured speedy recovery i so move thank you honorable member if there are no objections i put the motion Honorable Singh, Honorable Chairperson, on? Yeah, no, no objection, but I just thought for the record it's in Nanda Dam, not in Dala Dam. I think the member said in Dala Dam. In Nanda, it's in Nanda. Okay, Honorable Member. Thank you, thank you, honorable member. That was just a point of correction. I is the AIC. Oh, I'm thinking about elections. <laughs> thank you very much, honorable chairperson. I hereby move without notice on behalf of African Independent Congress that this has notes that an 18-year-old learner from Siamo Agostona School, south of Japan, was attacked by two learners and a parent. That the learner was accused of stealing a cell phone belonging to one of the two learners. To further note that this learner later died on Sunday of the 13th October in the hospital. The two learners and the parent have been arrested and charged with murder. They are expected to appear in Mbumbu of Court very soon. That our schools have become war zones and slaughterhouses. We urge communities to get involved and bring solutions to this learner on learner violence. That we intensify the objectives of Center for Justice and Crime Prevention of 2008 and also the National School Safety Framework. We convey our condolences to the family of the deceased learner. I so move. Thank you, Honorable Member.
If there are no objections, I put the motion. No objections, motion agreed to. Uh, uh, I nearly said something again about the IEC. IEC, AIC. Wow. Coke? It's Coke in the house. ANC? Deputy ANC. Thank you very much, Chair. The ANC National Congress moved without notice that the House notes that the Springbok rugby team was uh, victorious against Japan at the Rugby World Cup on March on the 20 October 1999. Acknowledge that the Springbok won by score of 26 to 3 in their match and will, will play Wales in the semi final. Remember that the Springbok lifted the, the Webb Ellis Cup in 1995 and 2007. Con we congratulate the team on a well deserved win. Further wish the team well as they play, prepare to play in the semi-final. I so move. Thank you. Are there any objections to the motion? No objections agreed to. G GA? I have a move on behalf of the Democratic Alliance that this house notes that Ms. Caitlin Ruiz-Kranz, a 70-year-old gymnast, hailed from Johannesburg, make history when she became the first South African to win a gold medal at an international gymnastics competition. Further notes that Ms. Ruiz-Kranz won a gold medal in the uneven bars while competing at the FIG Women's World Championship um, of the Artistic Gymnastic Challenge Cup held in September in Hungary, beating seasoned competitors from Great Britain and Spain. Further notes that Ms. Ruiz-Kranz qualified to compete at the 2020 Olympic Games after achieving a total score of 49.466 while competing in Stuttgart, Germany in October 2019. Acknowledges that Ms. Ruiskrantz's international victory and Olympic game qualification follows the successes achieved in 2018 and 2019 when she won the South African Championships and the 2018 African Championships where she was crowned the all-round champion after receiving the highest. I so I will congratulate so much. Thank you. Any objection to the motion? None, thank you. The motion is agreed to. PAC? Nirni. Al Jama? Al Jama move without notice. That the House notes the sad passing away of Mrs. Khalima Sadan Harun on the 29th of September 2019. Thanks the presence of the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, the Honorable Nati Matetua, at the funeral of Mrs. Harun. Further notes that the 83 year old Goga Khalima Harun was the widow of Martha Imam Abdullah Harun, who was killed in detention on the 27th of September 1969. Also notes that Goga Halima Haru died and was buried on the 29th September on the same date when Martha Imam Harun was buried 50 years ago. Further iterate calls for the reopening of the inquest into the death in detention of Imam Abdullah Harun. Thank you. Are there any objections to the motion? No objections. Agreed to ANC. Thanks, House Chair. The African National Congress moves without notice that the House applauds the bravery of Mr. Radius Masukum of Cape Town, who saved a woman who was being raped by two men last Thursday in a field just off G Road in Table View. Understand that Mr. Masukum immediately went to the aid of the woman, where one of the men kicked him to the ground after he caught their attention and stabbed him in his face and head four times appreciate his, his heroic effort 
which was widely welcomed by many people via social media. And the page started by Keep the Energy, a Facebook group that focuses on gender-based violence, which raised just over 20,000 for Mr. Masuko. Appreciate his bravery and selflessness. And thanks to Mr. Masuko for risking his life to save the woman. I so move. Thank you very much. Are there any objections to the motion? No objections are agreed to. That concludes motions without notice. Our next item on the order paper is member statements. Any member of the Honorable Chair. Singh, Honorable why Chair. are you rising? I'm rising in terms of Rule 92, Honorable Chairperson. Yeah. Uh, before we proceed with member statements, I note that there are only two ministers and three deputy ministers in the House. So I'm, yeah. leave, I'm leaving it to you to decide whether or not we proceed, because we've had a precedent in this House where we've postponed members' statements. And we will have almost 15 statements for these ministers to respond. I think it's unfair to the honorable members. Thank you. We have uh, two ministers and four deputy ministers, five deputy ministers, and we only expect six responses. So we continue. Um, any member of the ANC who wish to make a statement? Yes, ma'am. It's not working. Oh. I'll say, I'll say I want to present the member statements as follows. The African National Congress in its 2019 election manifesto noted that the most pressing task for our country is to set the economy on a higher path of shared growth and transform the structure of our economy to provide opportunities for millions of South Africans. The ANC therefore believes the launch of the Marafone first cell phone manufacturing plant in South Africa is one of the efforts to revive the country's economy and create much needed employment. This is expected to create hundreds of high skilled direct jobs and thousands of indirect jobs. It will also contribute to the transfer of technology and high tech knowledge in South Africa. The new plant of Africa's first sign Deben on Thursday, 17 October 2019, a week after its flagship factory was opened in Rwanda. Thousands of Mara phones are expected to be manufactured at the plant. The production is expected to serve the domestic market as well as the regional market, especially in the SADC region, contributing to strategies that position South Africa as the gateway to Africa. That's the end of the statement. Thank you. Thank you, honorable member. The DA? <laughs> <laughs> this week, the South African economy was dealt yet another blow by the ANC's dogmatic adherence to socialist and statist ideology that has long been abandoned even by the ANC's blessers in Russia. Tens of passenger aircraft were grounded because of a failure at SAA Technical. This was because SAA was run into the ground by ANC cadres and especially Zuma's very close friend, Dojo Mnieni. Those grounded flights caused chaos for thousands of passengers as well as to their business activities. Last year, SAA was paid a bailout of five billion rand, nearly double the annual budget for the National Prosecuting Authority. Worse, that South SAA's turnaround plan includes bailouts of 21 billion. Despite these massive bailouts, its technical division, SAA Technical, is so badly run that pirate parts may have been used in SAA and British Airways jets. Thousands of passengers' lives have been put at risk. The mid-air scare of a Mango Boeing going into a dive whilst carrying passengers 
should be enough to scare the pants off all travelers who fly in aircraft serviced by SAA Technical. Minister Tito Mbeni must now show that he has the courage of his country. Thank you very much. Your time is up, Honorable List. Honorable List, your time is up. EFF. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. The black people continue to, express, uh, to experience uh, racism in their workplace as if they are still living under apartheid. The level of racism in the private sector is shocking, inhuman, and for a country with a constitution that is celebrated all over the world, this means nothing to majority of black people who work for these white-owned companies. People are, dis people are dismissed without doing anything wrong. Sometimes workers do not get their salaries and are called names. There is a company called Kwakwa Wiring based in Frenacheng, where the owners of this company are racist and treat black workers as slaves. Workers have reported the issue to their labor department, but labor inspectors do not go to this company's uh, premises. When they do inspection visit, they only talk to the racist owners of cocoa wiring who tell them lies. The Minister of Labor, Employment, and the whole department are ignoring the racism that are taking place in these white-owned companies. Like uh, the DA has done to Musi Maimane, we are member, watching them like hawks. Honorable <laughs> member, your time is up. ANC? ANC? House Chairperson, there are around 767 legal matters involving the city of Cape Town of which 37 cases were concluded in Western Cape High Court, costing the city around 19 million. The most recent high publicized case is the one involving the municipality and a group of homeless people over the issuing of fines. Seven homeless people filled a contempt of court application against the city after law enforcement and and Cape Town Central City Improvement District officials continue to issue fines to seven applicants and remove their possessions despite agreeing to cease doing so pending a hearing in December. Those seeking justice are turning to the courts to fast track their cases. As the city has cleared shown no sense of agency, all the legal matters against the city is a reflection of their failure to deliver adequate and decent services to the people. As the ANC Honorable Chairperson, we can safely say without any doubt that everything in the city of Cape Town is regressing. I thank you. Thank you. IFP. House Chair. The Umzumbe municipality in the south coast of KwaZulu Natal for some time now has uh, experienced allegations of corruption, with including the misappropriation of municipalities' funds and irregularly ap appointment. At the ANC runs municipality is no strange to controversy. The IFP has called for a forensic investigation into the corruption allegations made by against Mzumbe municipality over tender processes before. With, with there, we, there we are allegation made against the former municipal manager of corruption and misappropriation of the municipality fund. Yet we still 
yet they were still transferred to the other municipality. The officials from the municipality offices have resigned left, right, and center. There are allegations made against the new municipality manager's academ academy qualification. It is said that the only holds uh, APET certificate yet Sir Togoza, I'm sure. Thank you. Sir Togoza. Uh, before I call on the FF Plus, Riboni Community Wellness, Jobek Older Persons Forum, Gauteng Sowetu, Lea Morele Gile Mopalamente. Thank you. Uh, FF Plus. Thank you, House Chair. The introduction of several measures by the President of South Africa and various members of the executive to eradicate poor governance, state culture, and the corruption is welcomed, but the Freedom Fund Plus is however concerned. While the State Capture Commission of Inquiry delves deeper into the web of capture, sourcing the culprits between factional battles, those who were most affected by the crimes are being sidelined. The deepening levels of inequality, poverty, and unemployment caused by contemporary state capture should be kept in mind when investigating and prosecuting the crimes of powerful politicians, private individuals, and corporations, as this has become the real reason for economic disempowerment in South Africa. Our future is being expropriated without compensation. The Special Investigating Unit and other law enforcement agencies are under underfunded undercapacitated and delayed. Selected high profile cases are often the focus while the other complaints are ignored with detrimental effects on service delivery. This can't be right. The abbreviation ANC has become an acronym for absolute no consequence. The ex executive should be held accountable. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, ANC. <coughs> Thank you, Chair. Um, the NC congratulates us on its 100% victory in the University of Western Cape SRC elections. The NC congratulates the biggest student movement in Africa, the, student, the South African Student Congress on its 100% victory during the SRC elections that were held at the University of Western Cape on the 9th of October 2019. This landslide, landslide victory confirms that student <coughs> still has still have confidence in SASCO as the only reliable instrument to champion the demand of students of access and success within the institution of higher learning. The NC also acknowledges, amongst many, the following victories obtained during the recent SRC elections. Vets University, University of Free State, University of Venda, CUT, Nelson Mandela University, and Sefako <laughs> This victory sent an unequivocal message that students remain unwavering in their support for the mass democratic movement and continue to have confidence in the Progressive Alliance, Progressive Youth Alliance as a whole. The NC urges SASCO to continue being at the forefront of the struggle for fundamental change of, for te of tertiary education and serving the best interest of students. We believe that SASCO will double their efforts to serve the student population, remain grounded Rale in their and lead from all Rale fronts. Thank you. GA, are there any objections? Uh, no, no objections, it's a statement. GA? House Chairperson, it has become something of the norm for the Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy, Gwede Mantashe, to make public statements that have no basis in fact. So ubiquitous has this become that there's even a term for it. It's called mantashing. So it should come as no surprise that he has done it again. Last month, the minister proudly proclaimed the discovery of Hazenal at a mining investment conference in Australia, based on an April Fool's joke that was clearly marked as satire. On Friday, the Department of Energy published under his signature the long-awaited IRP. Unfortunately, they published the wrong one. Yesterday, the minister couldn't answer simple questions, 
like when will you open bid window 5 of the RE IPP? Why did you not choose the least cost option for the IRP? And what will you do if you need to release the strategic fuel reserve? Instead, we got a lot of waffle about me being a lobbyist, I'm not sure what for, and the fact that our strategic fuel reserve comes from Nigeria and Iraq. Is it any wonder then that the Department of Energy is in complete disarray? We have a minister who is little more than a coal lobbyist Order. and a flip-flopper almost as good as the EFF. Order, man honorable members. Who has just today admitted Order. that he is mad. All South Africa Order. wants is certainty. This minister doesn't give it. ACDP. Honorable members, let us observe the rules and stay away from gestures. Continue, SEDP. House Chair, Chapter 2, Sections 9 and 33 of the South African Constitution state that everyone is equal before the law and everyone has the right to administrative action and is, that is lawful, reasonable, and procedurally fair. The ACDP believes that these rights have been denied to a South African citizen, Dr. DeVos. In April 2017, Dr. DeVos was suspended by the HPCSA because of an alleged statement by a woman who Dr. DeVos engaged about her decision to end the life of her 19-week unborn child. After numerous disciplinary hearings being set and charges withdrawn only to be reinstated after a few months without explanation, it appears evident that the HPCSA is guilty of violating Dr. DeVos's human right to a disciplinary hearing that is lawful, reasonable, and procedurally fair. In July 2019, the charges were changed, including changing the date and the year in which the alleged offenses were committed. As of the 12th of October 2019, information of the charges were not given to Dr. DeFoss, which were required by law. It appears that Dr. DeFoss has been punished for his medical review rooted in science that doing good, doing no harm to the life of human beings includes the life of the unborn child. The ACDP calls on all political parties to give support to Dr. DeVos and hold the HPCSA to account lest we be accused of hypocrisy, believing that all are equal before the law except those Christian doctors who hold the scientific medical view that all children are human beings, thank whether you in very or much. without the womb. I thank you. Thank you. ANC. The Dysfunctional Alliance newly appointed Federal Council Chair, a.k.a. the Toilet Cleaner Helen Zille, believes, quote and unquote, the most important policies that we should get bogged down, let me repeat, the most important uh, policies that we shouldn't get bogged down to is race. What we should get bogged down to is how we get people's job, as if race is not a contributing factor in many instances when dealing with unemployment, poverty, and inequality. Her utterances prove beyond doubt that DA is the party that believes in white supremacy and white privilege. Zillas quoted much controversy over her comments, which became progressively more conservative and earned her support from those who favored liberalism based not on race, but on individual rights and competency. Under her watch, the dysfunctional alliance will most likely focus on protecting white privilege and slowly abandon the need to attract black South Africans. As clearly demonstrated yesterday and today, the toilet cleaner has already flushed down the drain, Musi Maimane and Hamad Mashab. And for those of you who are still in denial, ANC and the NFP, NFP, uh, ANC, NFP not available, ANC. Ladies first. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chaperson. The African National Congress believes that everyone has the right to have access to health care services, including reproductive health care. Health care. Access, to, uh, access to health is indeed a human right, as the Bill of Rights also stipula stipulates. As the ANC, we therefore welcomes 
the landmark resolution calling for parliament to take all legal and policy measures to achieve universal health coverage by 2030. Adopted by the world's parliament to be gathered in Sibia for the 141st IPU assembly from the 13th till the 17th of uh, October 2019. The resolution urges parliament to be in, in place effective universal health care uh, coverage legislation to ensure that the right to public health and medical care is guaranteed for all in law and in, in practice without discrimination. The ANC believes this resolution has the potential to have a real impact on people's lives. The policy of the ANC by the aspiration of our people as enshrined in the Freedom Charter. It, is also it, it also states that the access to health care is a basic human right. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Chair, maybe you need to order some medical attention. They're clearly getting chest pains Honorable from seeing member, accountability in statement. action. <laughs> Honorable Chair, the Democratic Alliance has established that every year the government spends close to 30 billion rand in public money to fund the millionaire lifestyles of nearly 28,000 managers in the public service. On average, each of almost 10,000 senior managers takes home 1.4 million rand per year, with the highest level managers being paid just under 2 million per year. This is in sharp contrast to the average annual salary of 169,000 rand paid to a police officer, the average teacher's salary of 273,000, and the average 302,000 rand paid to a nurse per year. This vulgar expenditure on millionaire managers shows that the ANC is more interested in maintaining the luxury lifestyles of its cadres than in delivering the quality frontline services that South Africans deserve. Many ANC cadres have been purposefully deployed to managerial positions to capture the state. The government must urgently right-size the state by drastically reducing the number of managers in the public service. If the government cut the number of managers in the public service by half, we could immediately hire an additional 175,000 police officers, 54,000 teachers, or 49,000 nurses. Thank you. Thank you. EFF. Thank you very much, House Chair. Our hearts bleed with pain. The passing of a six-year-old girl, Poitou Melo, who was raped and died from injuries at the Polokwane Hospital. We also wish to send condolences to the family. As the EFF, we have said it, that we cannot continue to treat rape of children as rape and not as attempted murder. Anyone rape a child has the intention to kill that child. There is no other intention beside the intention to kill. As society, we should see it as murder and attempted murder. And perpetrators who rape children should be charged with murder. You do not rape a child, you attempt to murder a child, or you successfully murder a child like it was the case with baby Butumel. The murdering of our children is happening as if there is no policing or our courts are closed. We must not get tired of showing our anger, frustration, and activism against murdering of children. Rale Vohame, ANC. House Chair, the, the ANC wishes the chairman of the Kaiser Chiefs Football Club, Kaiser Taung, a happy belated 75th birthday. Mr. Mtaung, who founded the Drama Boys almost 50 years ago, celebrated his 75th birthday on the 16th of October, 2019. Fondly known as Chincha Guluva, Mr. Mtaung is widely respected for building a huge Amakosi brand that is followed by millions of people in the African continent. He was a superb he was a superb as a player for great rivals, Orlando Pirates, who recruited, him six, who recruited him when he was 16 years old, and also played for Antlata Chiefs in the United States. Mr. Mtaung was only 24 years old in 1969 when, when he, he started the mighty Amakosi. Or, originally, originally as a touring side called Kaiser 11. He had showed vision beyond his years in his innovation attitude. Yet he showed vision beyond his years 
His innovative attitude has shaped Kaiser Chiefs through the years, and they remain the most popular team in South Africa. We thank him for, we thank him for all he has done for football in South Africa, the continent, and the world. We acknowledge his championing of non-racialism in sports in, in our country. Finally, we thank him thank for creating and building. Thank you very much. Your time is now expired. Thank you. Aljama. Thank you, House Chair. Al Jamal looks forward to line items in the budget on the 30th of October that provides for the funding to implement the following plans to combat violence against women. We want to see the half a billion rand in a line item. For the appropriation of funds from all three tiers of government to properly fund the district models that the Honorable President promised the country. The Honorable President has made us proud in Russia by announcing to the world that Africa will become the largest free trade area in the world. And Al Jamal warns against legislation to exclude African refugees from doing certain business in South Africa. We support the position of the Prime Minister of Ethiopia that this Nobel Peace Prize was for all Africans. So business must be for all Africans. Thank you. Thank you. ANC. ANC. The ANC is not surprised by the recent resignation of some DA leaders, mainly Mr. Musi Mamani, Athol Trollip, and Herman Mashaba, in protest against the election of the Helen Order. As its federal chair, the ANC, we did expect it. We understand that Mr. Maimani has always found it difficult to continue with the party pretending to be a caring for all the people of South Africa, but striking the past and white privilege. As Herman Mashaba mentioned in his resignation too, it's difficult to work with people who believe race is irrelevant, especially in addressing inequality and poverty. In his resignation, Mashaba stated that the party had certain individuals who drew artificial distinctions between service delivery in informal settlements and suburbs as a binary and either or type approach. His implementation of the insourcing program that benefited over 7,000 was also not supported by the DA shame. The DA has always chosen to be a party that believed in fronting to gain support leverage from black voters. Indeed, the DA is well on its way to destruction, destroying themselves and the black DA caucus. Thank you very much. That concludes member statements. Any ministerial responses? Um, Babu? Babu Kwete? Is cutting a circle. Uh, Honorable Chairperson, I'm just standing up to help Honorable Mela. Um, who doesn't acknowledge the fact that after we publish the IRP, the run strengthened from, from 1520 to 1470. Which is, which is an acknowledgement of certainty in regulatory terms and in policy terms. So you can't do that because when you have a small mind, you chase mistakes, you chase mistakes. Uh, but when you have a great mind, when you, go, when you have great mind, you learn from every mistake that is committed in the process of execution. I want to refer him to a book written by Jack Welch, uh, chapter that talks to blowing the, the, the rooftop. Read that chapter, it will help you understand that people who commit mistake in execution don't get fired. Instead, they end up being CEOs beyond, because they learn from every mistake they commit. Now, now, and the weakness with this, yesterday I was called to withdraw lobbyists. 
I am a lobbyist today, swine with me. <laughs> what people don't understand when they lobby for foreign technology at the expense of national technology is that they don't know national interests, they don't know national needs, they are encircled, and therefore they allow dealers for powerful governments who are outside. And in that way, you encircle the nation, you weaken it, and you hand it over to foreign powerful governments to run. That is what Mailam is doing. I want to ask him to learn a little bit uh, whether it's Asselin, whether it is publishing a wrong IRP, we actually corrected all those mistakes. We are moving on. The train is running. Thank you very you much. You are going to be shocked Thank with you. the way of delivery. Julius, then Thank I'll you. Minister, thank you very much. Uh, Honorable Minister Daminizuma. Uh, thank you very much. I just want to say that the managers in the civil servants are not paid according to political party. The civil service has the standard, whether it's, it's, it's in a DA province or in an ANC province, it's the same. So to, to say the ANC is paying its cadres when the DA people in the Western Cape are paid the same is, is, is really disingenuous. And so don't come here and pretend that you are better than the ANC. If you were better, you would have said in the Western Cape, we want half the salaries that are paid to the, to the civil servants in the country. You still have that, time, Mama. Yes. OK, the other thing I want to just comment on, it's not, it's, it's about the crime and children. Mm. I think it's really important that our children be protected. It's societal responsibility. It's government responsibility. It's all our responsibility to really protect the children. But rape in South Africa is unacceptable to all of us, especially children, but women are also being raped. Today, in, the, in Kukuletu, there is a shutdown in this province because of what is going on there. So I think we, we, we're not opposing, but we're just saying that it's a societal responsibility from families to government, to communities, to uh, organiza civil uh, organizations to really protect our children. Uh, Honorable Deputy Minister Mafu. Thank you very much, House Chair. I just want to thank the member from the EFF who has raised the issue of racism. Racism is a cancer that must be rooted out in all its forms. That is why uh, this government had introduced a bill in this house to make sure that racism is a crime. And racism, all of us, we should actually frown on it. Whether it happens in your party, in your home, everywhere, racism is racism. It doesn't matter where it happens. So I thought it's important and we must all of us know that it is a responsibility of everybody to deal with racism. But the second part that I wanted to raise is to thank the member from the ANC who is actually congratulated Keza Mundawang for his birthday because sport on its own is important for social cohesion in this country. And Keza Mundang has played a very critical role to make sure that actually sport is growing and it's important therefore that as we move and we go around, we make sure that we actually make sure that we, we make sure everybody is actually made that 
you in your home somebody plays sport somebody becomes creative because at the end of the day south africa will be a better place if all of us we can be playing a role in social cohesion thank you very much thank you uh, honorable deputy minister Kotwa. Uh, South Africa ranks among some of the top countries in relation to safety on aviation. And I think regardless of our political differences, there are things that we must appreciate about our country. Because what happens is that we've got a very good regulatory mechanism, including the audit which was done, not done yesterday. What happened yesterday was an effect of what was done a few days before. And it's done not to save members of parliament this side of the house, to save everybody, including member who raised the question. And it's important that we do so to keep that clean record in terms of safety on aviation in South Africa. It's important that all the airlines, not just the obsession about uh, South African airways, all the airlines were affected. In fact, when that was detected, it was not detected on SAA. It was detected from another airline. But it was where to make sure that all the airlines all the airlines comply with the audit of the authority which was done. So we must be proud of the work that we continue to do to keep our South Africa mid-air safe. Di visa na kakulu no mama unka binde. Ngoku pumelela ekupi pinto ebe yenza ne university. We small business development. Wata waba uya kwazi ukutengiz. Difuna ke koto kukakese la lendu. Indo yoko kuba. Isebe eli. Loso mwa pizini sabanyana. Gumsebe nzualo. Yae lia zifanda e universities as as developer abantu kulomkhakha kangange ukuba zonke jikelele ezinye zazo zivelisa izinukisa kamnandi perfumes ziwathengisana kwamanye amazwe yaye sinento esiyisayinayo silisebe nabo nenje njalo kumane nizocela naxa besuka kwezinye provinces ngumsebenzi omhlelo siyayibulela lo mpumelelo inkosi kakhulu Thank you. I may have missed one. I still have a slot. Did I miss anybody? Chairperson, can we please stop because these responses are so uh, poor. Honorable member, who told you? Honorable, honorable member, you are a leader. You can't do that. Order, order, honorable members. Leaders don't do that, please. Honorable members, we have concluded on the ministerial responses. We now go to notices of motion. The ANC. I move on behalf of the ANC that the next sitting, the House debate the stubbornness persistent of the social legacy of the apartheid, which shows the white privilege continues unabated at the expense of the economic gains of the black majority. I so move. Mr. I hereby move on behalf of the Democratic Alliance that at its next sitting, this House debates the optimal size and structure of the public service in the Republic, which features currently an unsustainable wage bill of 627 billion rand and consumes 35% of total government expenditure. I rise on behalf of the EFF that in its next sitting, the House debates the persistent abuse and eviction of farm dwellers by farm owners in Machado's Dorp and the surrounding areas in Pumalang. I so move. Rale Boha, IF, I mean ANC. ANC? I'm okay. I move on behalf of the ANC that in its next sitting, the House debates 
working together towards a financially viable future through a quality education. Thank you, IFP. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of the IFP, uh, I, I shall move at the next sitting that the House debates the irregular and appointments of the officials and the, and the overall corruption in some municipalities. I so move. Thank you, bye-bye. FF plus. Thank you, Madam Chair. I hereby give notice that on the next sitting day of the House, I shall move on behalf of the Freedom Front Plus that this House notes the current effect of climate change on South Africa and the current situation of prolonged droughts facing South Africa. Further notes that provinces such as the Northern Cape are facing multi-year droughts which are threatening food security and the livelihoods of millions, recognizes that drought relief is not sufficient and not reaching the intended beneficiaries whilst an estimated 32,000 jobs are being lost annually as a result and 1.2 million households are affected by these prolonged droughts. Agrees that the current way of disaster management is not efficient and relevant and lastly refers this matter to the Portfolio Committee of Ag on Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development together with the Portfolio Committee on Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs to review the disaster management model and introduce relevant legislation to ensure effective disaster relief. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, ANC. ANC is... Thank you, House Chair. I move on behalf of the ANC that in its next sitting, the House debates addressing employee wellness program that includes gender transformative training, which challenges gender norms for the prevention of gender-based violence and healing programs. I so move. Thank you, ACDP. Thank you, House Chair. I will move on behalf of the ACDP at the next sitting of the House that the House debates the increase in wasteful and irregular state ex expenditure to an unacceptable 61.5 billion rand as highlighted by the Auditor General in his recently released report. Thank you, UDM, not here, ATM. Thank you, Chair. I move on behalf of the ATM that in the next sitting the House debates on the renaming of the union buildings as part of the restoration of the dignity of the native Africans. Thank you. Thank you. GA? Order, oh, honorable members. I hereby move on behalf of Democratic Alliance that at its next sitting, the House debate the elimination of the gender pay gap between women and men in sports played at local level, provincial and national level. I so move. Thank you. EFF. I rise on behalf of the EFF that in the next sitting, the House debate the role South Africa must play in the AU in order to fast track the flagship program that have been identified and adopted by the 24th AU Summit to produce the African passport that enables the movement of Africans which will promote the distribution of a single visa by, single visa by member states and ultimately a single African passport to ensure free movement to all African countries. Thank you, ANC. Th thank you, uh, House Chair. I move on behalf of the NC that in the next uh, sitting, the House debate uh, gangsterism that uh, manifests in violence, drug addiction, and teenage pregnancies are symptoms of a much deeper problem, such as desperate attempts of youth to escape the emptiness of their life. I thank you. Thank you. Good. Good is good. NFP. NFP is good. ANC. Thank you, Chairperson. I move on behalf of the African National Congress that in its next sitting, the House debates the need of an enabling environment 
where the public and private sectors work together for the greater good in order for all South Africans to prosper. I thank you. Thank you, AIC. Cope. ANC. Oh, one Peter. Cope. Tuarello. I'm not going to be able to Thank you, House Chair. I move on behalf of the ANC that in the next sitting, the House debates skills development and employment as a key issue for persons with disabilities in order to gain necessary skills and have the opportunity to enter the employment sector. So I move. Thank you. DA? Thank you, House Chair. I hereby move on behalf of the Democratic Alliance that at its next sitting, the House debate the concept of traditional leaders and Khoisan reflecting on their role in a democratic South Africa. I so move. Thank you. Thank you. PAC Dololo. Aljama. Thank you. ANC. Thank you, Chairperson. I move on behalf of the ANC that in its next sitting, the House debates, as Africa's population is becoming younger, it stands to reason that youth development will form the cornerstone of efforts to build a successful generation of future leaders. I so move. Thank you. Uh, honorable members, that concludes notices of motion and the business of the day, the haze as Verdag. And Boroto must fall. <laughs>